What's going on, guys? I'm Brandon with the TRT community. On today's episode, we're talking about the importance of HCG. This is the TRT Community Podcast, where we discuss all things testosterone. Hey guys, I really appreciate you listening. Uh, today I want to talk about HCG, uh, the purpose of HCG, when you need HCG, when when you don't need HCG, and uh, some of the bro science surrounding HCG. Um, a lot of guys will tell you that you really only need HCG if you want to remain fertile, or you really only need HCG if you're concerned about the size of your testicles. Or you really only need HCG as post-cycle therapy. The problem is that this is all bro science. All of these reasons are just wrong. Most of us understand that whenever you start taking testosterone, exogenous testosterone, TRT, it shuts, shuts down your HPTA, that's your hypothalamic pituitary testicular axis, via negative feedback loop. So this isn't new information. Uh, You know, I didn't invent this idea. Um, What I hope to do here is kind of relay it in a way that will, uh, that the the general public will be able to grasp. I feel like, you know, it's been talked about by researchers, by doctors, and maybe it's just a little confused. It's confusing to me. So I want to simplify it and and then just make sense of it for you guys. Um, So the HPTA is essentially a triangle or a circular loop between the hypothalamus, the pituitary, and your testicles. It's responsible for making testosterone and converting cholesterol into other hormones, and when it shuts down, you're looking at trouble. So in a in a man with normal testosterone levels, the pituitary gland creates LH, that's luteinizing hormone. What that does is it stimulates the Leydig cells within the testicles to create testosterone. So with a, with a man that has low T, for one reason or another, his testosterone is not, uh, is not being produced. Either his testicles can, can no longer create testosterone, or his, maybe his pituitary is not signaling his tes- testicles to create testosterone. That's not really the purpose of this podcast today, I want to talk more about what HCG's role is. So when when you're on TRT, the reason that you no longer produce your own testosterone is because your your LH shuts down to zero. Um, the pituitary is no longer signal, signaling. Uh, it's no longer telling your testicles to create more testosterone. So you just don't. What HCG does is it mimics LH. It keeps the Leydig cells activated and producing testosterone, which maintains your testicles' normal size. So the reason that the testicles atrophy whenever you're on TRT without HCG is because those Leydig cells become dormant, they get smaller, and and they're within your testicles. So as they get smaller, your testicles get smaller. So this right here is where we lose a lot of the uh, older generation that are on TRT because they'll say something like, I'm married, you know, I, I don't I don't care about the size of my testicles, my wife doesn't care, I'm not dating, why does it matter? It doesn't. If you want atrophied testicles, then then that's fine, and, and you know, I'm in the same boat, I'm married, I don't really care. However, there's much more to it. The next step that a lot of bro science guys will go to is is talking about fertility. Well, if you don't have HCG, your sperm production shuts down to zero. Get the same argument. I'm married. I've got my children. I'm 45 years old. And I'm not planning on having any more children. It's a non-issue, and that's fine too. But there is more. So what HCG will do when mimicking LH? So it, it continues the natural, the body's natural production of testosterone, which one allows you to take less exogenous testosterone and maintain the same high levels. You know, for, so for example, just to make math simple, maybe. With no HCG, you take 200 milligrams a week, and with HCG, you're able to take 100 milligrams of testosterone a week because your natural production kind of has you halfway where you need to be. That's a really simple explanation of that piece of it, but either way, I think you can, you can get the, the point. You know, the HCG kind of acts as, you know, your normal, your normal pe- testosterone production level is the building block, and then you take the, 
injection, the exogenous testosterone, just to kind of top yourself off. So really, this is the most important part, in my opinion. Um, LH contributes in the conversion of cholesterol to pregnenolone and progesterone. So when your LH drops to zero, you shut down your HPTA. So if nothing else convinces you, I would think that at the very least, the fact that it's not just atrophied testicles, it's not just zero sperm count, but there there are other hormones that you just won't have anymore. And personally, even if I didn't know the function of these hormones, I don't necessarily want to go shut down and rid myself of, of hormones that, you know, science says I'm supposed to have. If I can just take a simple injection and, and maintain those functions. So LH contributes in the conversion of cholesterol to pregnenolone. Pregnenolone is known for memory sharpness. Um, it's that simple. Uh, it also, from there, it goes and in, in, in converts into progesterone. Progesterone counteracts the effects of estrogen. Those sound pretty important to me. From there, it's converted to DHEA. And, and like I said, without the HCG, you're missing out on all of that. So whether you want children or not, doesn't matter. Whether you can handle your atrophied testicles or not, it doesn't matter. You're losing out on, I won't call them key hormones, but you're losing out on some pretty important hormones. And I think those, those hormones are what, what make a lot of guys say that eight, you know, taking HCG just heightens their overall sense of well-being. You feel better. You feel more like a man. Um, you feel more natural. So, you know, my argument is why would you not take HCG if you can maintain the balance of, of this entire axis? HCG costs 20 to $25 a month. If you're scared of, not scared, if you're concerned about taking an additional injection, put them both in the same syringe. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for that one, but that's what I do. They go in the same syringe. I inject them at the same time, in the same hole, in the same place, through the same needle, every single time. And I think in my last episode, I said that I was going to address that in this, uh, in this episode. I think what I'll do, I wanted to go ahead and touch on why HCG is important. And then in the next episode, I'll, I'll talk about um, why I inject them at the same time. So like I said, this is, was a very simplified version of, of why HCG is important. A lot of people have already done the in-depth looks. And, and I understand that you know most of us aren't doctors. We can't understand medical terminology, and we don't, we don't know how to read flow charts. Uh, this is high level. It, just to pique your interest, if something I said resonated with you, go out there and find the medical research. Go out there and find the, the flow chart and, and understand that the answer is HCG is important enough that every man on TRT should also be on HCG, period. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate you listening. Uh, if you like what you hear, go ahead and subscribe, review the show, rate the show. Those things really help us out. And visit us on Facebook. You can email me at brandon at trtcommunity.com. Thank you for listening to the TRT Community Podcast. You can find us online at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash TRT Community. 